everybody. Okay, today we're going to be making lotion. And uh, this is one of our finished products. And this is actually one of the lotions I made. I was watching and editing my clips, and a light bulb went off, and it said, Kimberly, you didn't tell them something. And one of the things I didn't tell them, or tell you, is 91% uh, alcohol is the alcohol that you should buy, I think. You can get it at your local drugstore, dollar store, Walmart. And when your jar, it, it's going to have all this goo on it. And so, you, you know, from the lotion and uh, residue, and if you'll just take some paper towels and some of, this, some of the alcohol and spray your jars, then you can clean them up nicely. And then I buy these labels from Planet Label, and um, they're just peel and stick labels. And you just put them on there. Make sure that you put your ingredients, the name of your company, and the ingredients by volume, in other words, the largest item first, and put your customer service phone number at the bottom. And, um, and then you're all set with your lotions. And also, I forgot to tell you that when your lotion is all hot, and you've just poured it in, don't cap it until it has got back to room temperature. Otherwise, if you've ever seen a loaf of bread sweat in the sun or because it got hot, and that's what will happen. Moisture will come up out of it and accumulate on your lid and then drip back down and you'll have a layer of water on the top of your lotion. So cap it after it's cooled and, um, and whatnot. And now this is my new sound stage, the Essential Soap Sound Stage for making videos. And I'm actually making a video now. I'm waiting for my oils to cool. I'm making Grandma's Old Fashioned Candy Cane Soap. And so be watchful of that video. Um, in any case, um, this is the new sound stage. Now the next clip you're going to see um, is actually... I, t I took, you know, last week um, when I made this lotion, and I point in this room, and I'm like, don't look, don't look, I haven't done anything in there. Well, this is what I eventually done, and I'm sure more will be done to this room to make it even more perfect. I will just keep playing with it. Uh, this is my first time to use it today since I got it somewhat uh, the way I want it. And as I use it, I'll find more things I need to move in and move out and rearrange. But anyway, so now you're going to see a clip on the soap, the new soap house I just moved into and have not in any way finished. Um, but before we do that, I posted this video last week and it was taken down after only being up for a day. A little bit over a thousand people watched it. And um, the reason that I took it down is because um, I had had an issue with the company on uh, customer service with a problem that I had with the product. And I had been dealing with customer service for several months and I had not gotten what I thought was fair treatment um, or nor did I feel like that they had um, held up on their end of the deal, you might say. And I had just sort of given up and gotten to the point that I felt like that I needed to talk about it. And so I did. <laughs> and But by chance, and as I said, I had just given up on it, uh, but just by chance, uh, someone who um, uh, watched the video brought the video's attention to the owner of the company. And it seems that during the time that this occurrence happened, and I have been speaking back and forth to customer service, uh, she had happily had a new baby, and so she was quite busy and not coming into the office like normal, and so normally my kind of a situation would have got kicked up to her desk, and she would have been able to happily resolve it, but because of her not being there quite so much due to this brand new baby, um, that didn't happen, so as soon as she was made aware of the problem, she fixed it. And I want to tell everybody, if you have a problem with a company, even another person or myself that you might purchase soap from, always try to be reasonable. Put yourself on the other side of the phone, and remember, everybody makes mistakes, and some mistakes cannot be really decided upon is exactly what caused the issue. But one way or the other, uh, I, as a Southern person, I try to always... 
uh, look to try to resolve things peacefully and never take advantage of another person. I always try to be reasonable. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day. And let's start making some soap. Did you hear me just say, let's get making some soap? We're making lotion, guys. Okay, so let's get making some lotion. Roll clip. Hey, everybody. All right. I am going to make lotion today. I have got my teapot out. I've got hot water in it. And I've get, I got my stuff here for my tea, so we got to have some great tea. Uh, <clears throat> and I have wiped out the memory card and put it in the camera. And, I, oh, by the way, for everybody that knows, this is my tablet that I got. I'm so excited about. Um, I, I think I'm going to make some soap, too. But I'm going to make lotion and put it on video. And I wanted to let you know that they've got these on sale at Walmart again. I know I did a video on these. These are my absolutely favorite crock pots. And they're like, I think, like $25 or $26 normally. But they put them on sale every once in a while for like $19.97. So I waited and got two more. And I have two of them. And so I'm going to open those up today. And I've been selling that cedarwood and tea tree soap like crazy. So I may make some, I may make three more batches, double batches in my big turkey cooker today. Um, and I've moved the fish in there. That's the room that's going to be the video room. Just don't look. We hadn't done anything in there yet. But we have got our oil station set up. And so before I made lotion, I know I'm giving y'all a headache wiggling the camera around. It's on the tripod and I'm like wiggling it. I know. I got to oil this cabinet, but in any case, this is our oil station. We've got our soybean oil, paper towels, our measuring bowl, our steric acid, and we've put spoons and spatulas and measuring cups in here for Megan to measure oils right here with our trusty scale. And then over here is all of the oils. Except for the palm oil, I've got to get it moved over here uh, so that we can easily measure all of our oils out for the crock pot. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and, of course, right behind that is the crock pot wall. And over here, we decided to make this one the super fat and colorant and essential oil measuring station, plus I also, you know, work here. Um, but in any case, so we've got the tools we need for making, to mix lye, our gloves, our eye protection, and <laughs> my cup of soup too, just don't look at that. Okay, and then um, all of our containers and glasses and bowls and things are in here. And my tea stuff, and the vitamin E, and then down here we've got a lot of empty space, but I'm keeping my soap cutters. Let, let, let me bring you over here. Hang on. If I can. I know you're so curious about this. I'm just crazy, but I just thought somebody might like to know what we were up to. Anyway, so we've got all of our measuring spoons and all of our measuring cups here. My soap cutter's been washed, so it's not here, but my two soap cutters. And then various, you know, recipe books, various tools, um, things in here. Um, this is still the activated charcoal drawer. The whole thing's black. I'm not touching it. Two of my handles have came off. I've got to fix it. Um, we have our um, thermometers, knives, um, and then two totally empty drawers. Woohoo! I know. And then in here, you know, brush and mirror. We're doing videos. Oh, a uh, knob needs to go back on. Um, here we have done our super fast station.
So we have the shea butter and the glycerin and, and some honey, but we got to get some more. And the coconut oil and the cocoa butter and, and everything we need for super fatting, plus the backup supplies is underneath there. Um, so, and then, oh, this is the piece de resistance. Hang on. Oh, I'll let you look in here. Ta-da! Okay. Oh, extra scale she can use here. I know she don't know what to do with herself. Megan's coming tomorrow, by the way. We're making soup. Okay, <clears throat> this is the piece de resistance. I was going to put <clears throat> everything in the storage room. But instead, I decided to put everything right here. So, and I don't know if this is the way it was when I did that sneak peek video. But in any case, here's all of my supplies, everything. Um, my essential oils, my colorants, oats, honey, bee pollen, vinegar. <laughs> I've got to get this lie moved though. If anybody has preached, don't put lie on the floor. It's me. Because it's not safe. Children can get into it. Uh, so far, I keep this facility completely locked tight. Nobody goes in here but me. But I've got to get that moved. I'm hereby ordered. Because it's just not safe. I mean, and if I should have a water leak in here and the floor should fill up with water, you know, water could get in there and, and we could have some serious water damage with lye. So I got to get that off the floor. Any case, um, over there I moved the stove and this is the wash and sink. You can see where I made soap last week. All the moles are, are clean and dry and the cutter all waiting to be put up. And I've often wondered if anybody would want to buy this. I, I've just got to the point that I'm not enjoying it like I used to. But see, I've got all these scraps. I've got this big bucket and this bucket here is about this full. It's just scraps of my soap. I've wondered if somebody would like to buy that for, because it's just loaded with colorants and essential oils, so it's not like it's, you know, plain base, but but you could still melt it down and make some pretty nifty soap. But in any case, maybe somebody will say, hey, yeah, I'd like to buy five pounds of that stuff. Anyway, so here's where I put the stove, and I have got to do the wiring on the stove and move the outlet. But other than that, it's, uh, it's ready to go. And I'm going to put the utility sink right there where the garbage can is. And there's my freezer. And I'm going to move these cabinets down. And that's where I'm going to keep all my food supplies. Everything for eating when we're here. Uh, but I hadn't got that done yet. Of course, there's the refrigerator. And, oh, look, it's messy. But in any case... Um, I know it's a little dark in here. This is where I cure our soap, so everything's been packaged, but the olive oil soap, which I think may take three to four weeks. Um, it is very firm, but it's not done. Um, and I've got three up there. This is my soaps. And then here's a new shelf. All the soaps ready for processing, putting in packaging and whatnot. And, of course, y'all saw the, the storage closet. And then this is all my products and moles and extra surplus stuff in here. And we still haven't got the lights done. I, I, I got to get lighting in here. Anyway, and then this is my little trolley cart that I use to roll everything back and forth. Uh, we just load it up and take it wherever we need it. Alright, so we're going to make lotion. So, and so now let's get our recipe going. So, hang ten. Okay, everybody, I forgot. I told you we got to make tea before we can have so, I mean, homemade lotion. So, um, I thought I would show you what I like to make tea with. If the honey will open up. I put just a little bit of honey in my tea for one 
a cup. And then in my pot, I like to put, this is Essential, Depo Essential Depot's Jasmine and Echinacea, I believe, leaves. And I like to put a little bit of that in there. And then this is some tea that I got from, in that's Indian tea. And I put two bags in there. And I forgot what kind of the box is in the lid, but it's in my kitchen. And, and then this is uh, black cumin seeds. And I put some of those in there, a little bit more. I haven't, um, I haven't uh, had a glass of tea in a few days. I've been so busy. I know y'all know because I've not been on the website. I mean on the Facebook page. It's just been crazy. So anyway, so that's what I put in my pot. And then I pour my hot water in. And you don't fill it all the way up to the top because it makes it mad. And then you put your lid on. And you can just set it right back on the cup. And it is ready to go in, in just a short period of time. And, um, and then I, I just keep my water hot and I just keep adding water to this and then when it gets too weak I put some more some more tea bag in or I'll I like this sleepy time uh, it keeps me calm when I'm working in here <laughs> all right so that's what I do for my tea and I know we got low light in here but um, the first thing I'm going to do in here is I'm going to spray my table down with alcohol and let it sit for a few seconds and then I'm going to wipe it down and this therefore will help to sterilize the surface that I will be working on and and get it all ready for less counting our jars because we need to count our jars today. Sorry about that. I'm walking in front of you. Okay, so now let me get my jars. And I'm going to then alcohol my hands. today but I have not done it yet um, so I have got to control how much lotion I make and I thought that y'all guys would enjoy uh, seeing how to do that you know like when you just have so many jars you know what are you going to do with it um, I mean you got to figure out your recipe so, I'm going to go ahead and count my jars. Okay, so we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46 jars. Okay, and so I want to make some of these in day cream, and I want to make some of these in night cream. So, but one way or the other, they've got to be alcoholed. So, um, I like to alcohol ahead of time and sterilize. 
pause the little boogers and let it evaporate. So we've got our jars ready now. And I'm going to get out the same amount in lids and alcohol them the same way right here. And so let's get um, working on the next step. Okay. So now I have my 46 jars lids out. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to alcohol the little boogers. And then I'm going to let it sit here and evaporate. So, all right. On to the next step. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> now, this is the soap cow. And what I have done is typed in my ingredients. And I picked almond butter for water because water's not listed on it. And I put seed buckhorn and seed buckhorn oils from seed or something. I picked that for my preservative and my uh, e-wax and rice bran oil for my, uh, to represent my vitamin E because vitamin E was not listed. But basically, I put in the ounces. I told it ounces. Now, if I, t if I tell it calculate, it's going to tell me the percentages over here. So now I know the exact percentage that each one of these items represent. So now, let's see if y'all can see. Okay. And so, so here it tells me the percentage. And here is the ounces that I use in my big batch. And so now I will go over here to wholesalepulpsuppliesplus.com and I have typed in all my ingredients. And so now I have to type in the percentage. So um, for the water, it was it is 75.4 ounces. So let me get rid of this one. Okay, so uh, I want 70. 5.4 okay and then for the shea butter it's 5.65 so for shea butter I'm gonna put in 5.65 now I'm gonna just keep filling these out and then I'll bring you back okay I want to see if I can explain this to you I'm gonna try anyway okay so over here on the soap cow I put all my ingredients. I made sure that I put that I needed 1% on the preservative and then I needed 9% on the e-wax and my particular e-wax requires 9% um, a couple of times at 8% I've had some separation. So, um, and I put all my ingredients down. I picked almond butter for the water and see how I've got all these thousands of percentages here. So what I did was is I typed those over here and then I went back and I adjusted them slightly so that I ended up with like 70% water instead of 70 point da 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 you know and and I just adjusted them slightly so that I don't have um, I don't have percentages that are you know and I completely took my vitamin E out I'm just gonna drop some in there um, because it was a point something because you've got to get this at a hundred percent then once you do that and you have all the percentages of how much ingredient you want then you can just click calculate and it tells you exactly how many ounces to put in your recipe and up here I wanted 60 ounces because I'm going to do 15 jars so 15 times 4 equals 60. I'll have a little bit probably left over. I'll put that in a jar for myself uh, that I have already on the side. So, all right. So, and, and now this is wholesalesuppliesplus.com. Their calculator for batch sizes. And then this is the soapcal.net. Their calculator for soap, actually. But I just used it by putting it on ounces and determining what percentage each one of my ingredients was compared to the others. Once I knew the percentage, then I could come over here and say, well, I want my water to be 70% of my recipe. So, all right, so there you go. So now we're going to make the day cream. Okay, guys. All right, now here's our implements. But whenever you're making lotion, 
You can never just make lotion. You've got to clean things. So, I'm putting some Dawn and some bleach in my water. And I'm going to fill up my sink. And even though these items uh, are clean uh, and we're sitting in the cabinet, these items are going to get re-cleaned. Uh, and they're going to get soaked in bleach, including these items here. So we're going to clean everything. Now look, these cloths were sitting here where we'd been making soap and we'd washed crock pots and dried our hands. But these towels cannot be used for lotion. No, you must use fresh cloths that just came out of your washer and dryer so that they are sanitary and fresh and ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to wash all this up and I'll bring you back. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing with my stove. Um, this is an older stove. It's the, it's the soap room stove. And it is my first time to use it uh, for lotion. I'm going to spray everything that I could touch well. So that we know we're going to have sanitariness going on. Uh, and I'm actually going to let this sit for a while, and then I'm going to take paper towels and wipe it all down. So, there you go. Okay, everybody. So, now I have my fresh ingredients. Things that I pour out of the bottle, <clears throat> I don't worry too much, but, but things that I'm going to be digging around in and handling, I like to, to open up a brand new one when I'm making lotion. Like, I have one in there that we've been scooping out of on the shea butter and the cocoa butter, but when I make lotion, I want one that has its factory seal. For the argan oil, I'm going to pour some out, and I don't go putting things back in there. I don't touch the contents, so I feel safe about using olive oil that's, you know, that's been opened and we've poured out of before. On the coconut oil, I alcoholed my dish and removed some into this dish for the use um, but I did scoop off the entire top layer with one spoon and push that aside and then get a fresh spoon, which had been alcoholed, and dig and dug out fresh coconut oil that had not, the air had not top, you know, touched that top layer. Okay, I've got all my utensils already out washed with the bleach water and alcohol. Everything's been washed, bleached, and alcoholed, uh, and now we're ready to go. Okay, so... Um, on our ingredients, our first ingredient um, is um, shea butter, 4.2 ounces. So let's uh, get our shea butter out. And I, I've just alcoholed my hands again, so my hands are all clean. And I'm going to open up this fresh shea butter. And my knife has been bleached, water, cleaned, and alcohol. Okay. Get that on zero. Okay, and I've had this happen some. This is e-wax or emulsifying wax. This is not beeswax. Beeswax is not the kind of wax you use to make lotion. So you must have you must have e-wax or emulsifying wax. Okay, and a recipe calls for 5.4. And I'm going to call out the other ingredients I've got in here. So, oh.
There we go, 5.4. And yes, that scoop has been bleached uh, and also alcohol. Okay, so I've got my double boiler going. I'm going to put my ingredients in here. And I'm going to scoop it all out because it's all qualifies. And you don't add your vitamin E or, and I don't add my glycerin to this. And um, I've reduced my heat of my, of my double boiler and I'm going to attempt to go uh, slow. <clears throat> now, um, just, I guess I could have broke up that shea butter just a little bit more. So now, let's talk about what is in the pot. Okay? Remember, alcohol your hands every time you touch something. Uh, when I put the e-wax up, I alcoholed my hands again because I touched the outside of the bag. Okay? Alright. Um, we've got, we're going to have 42 ounces of water, 4.2 ounces of shea butter, uh, 0.6 ounces of your, um, oh, I forgot the coconut. I didn't put my coconut oil in there, which was 0.8. So let me add that. Hang on just a second, guys. I don't want to get sidetracked and not add it, so I'm going to do that right quick. And it was 1.8. Oh, that was so close. It's pitiful. There we go. Okay. All right, so let's do this again. Okay, so on our, we're going to do 0.6 on our olive oil, our avocado, our castor, our argon oil. We're doing 1.8 on the coconut oil, and we already said that we were doing 4.2 on the shea butter. That's 4.2 ounces and 42 ounces of water. And we are going to have 0.6 on castor, and I've already put that in. And then our glycerin is, I mean our steric acid is 1.2, and I need to get that in there. That's another item that needs to be melted. And um, our glycerin, we've not put in there yet, but it's going to be 1.6. The stearic acid was 1.2. If you want this lotion to be thinner, um, eliminate or add very little stearic acid. Um, the e-wax is 5.4. Okay, so and now we're going to do 1% preservative, 2%, um, we're doing 2% essential oils, and we did... Um, 9% uh, on our e-wax, which we've already talked about. So, and this will be written in the description. Okay, so I'm going to put my uh, steric acid in here, uh, which h helps to open the pores on the skin so that it can receive moisture. Okay, guys, over there is my scale, and my water is behind here. And let me get a cloth. Remove the lid. And this is sort of a precarious situation, uh, but it's how I do it. Um, I need 42 ounces of water, so I'm going to tear this container. Okay. And then I'm going to measure the water. Okay, that's 26.5. And this container has been bleached, washed, all that kind of stuff. Okay. 
Okay, 26, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, uh, 43, 44. So that is two ounces over, and I usually like to put um, just a little bit over. Um, so there is 44 ounces of water because see the evaporation that we're having. And I'm going to stick a lid on that uh, to try to limit that. All right. And now I'm going to... I'm going to put the lid back on here and uh, check to make sure, uh, yeah, I still have plenty of water under there. And I'm going to get my, um, uh, this is my water, and let's put the lid back on this, keeping it hot for the next one. And then this right here is that, I'm melting that. So now I need to get my essential oils ready and my preservative ready. Um, and I still got to put my, and I got to measure out my glycerin and my vitamin E. So there's still a couple things we got to do. Okay. So now, um, we got to get our 0.6 on our glycerin. Okay. And then... As I told you a while ago, the percentage on this was so small because it's Essential Depot's new product that is 100% vitamin E. So I'm going to go with a half a teaspoon. And, and it's such a small amount, I really just didn't add it to the recipe. I'm just poking it in there. Okay. Now, uh, that is ready to go into the water, and this has melted, so now I've got to go get my stick blender. Okay, um, I'll try to lift this up from time to time, but all I have in there is just my water right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead, put my vitamin E and my glycerin in. And I, there's water on the bottom of this, so I'm going to pat that dry. And I'm going to scrape, as they say, all the goody. Because we measured out every little bit of this. And so we need every little bit of this. It's all important for the recipe. Okay. And I have alcoholed my stick blender and washed it. And I'm going to try to lift you up and let you see. I know the lens is getting foggy. Okay, now we will wait for it to cool and see if we have any separation. If we do, then we'll stick blend it some more. Okay, uh, we need 1.2 ounces. We've got six essential oils, so that would be 0.2 ounces of each one. But Clary Stage promotes the growth of testosterone, and predominantly ladies use this, so I don't like to do it as strong as I do the others. So I'm going to do 0.1 on it. And the scale just went off on me. So let's try that again. There we go, point one. And on the tea tree, I want it stronger than the others. So I'm going to go with point three on it. There we go. And the rest of them, 
I'm going to do point two, and that would be the cedar wood. Okay, and the lavender, most healing uh, essential oil to the skin. And of course, I'm using Essential Depot essential oils. And rosemary. Okay, let's look for separation. Hang on. Uh, I don't see any separation, so we've done good that way. So now we'll check our temperature. And we are slightly, we're looking like we're just a little bit more than 110. So we are perfect for preservative and for essential oils. Okay. I'm going to put in my preservative. And my essential oils. And so, now we're going to blend this in. Watch your... going to go put this in our jars. So, I got alcohol in my hands. Okay. Here we go. So, I'm going to put the funnel in there. Swizzle around a little bit. You can swizzle the top a little bit to break up some of those air bubbles. If you have patience and 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 put your nozzle in, whoop, almost got overflowed, but you still end up with some air bubbles. If you put the nozzle all the way down in there in the bottom, but see, you still get some air bubbles. So. All right, so I'm going to do the rest of these jars, but I'm going to sort of get you up close a little bit more and show you a little bit more about it. When I'm working with Megan, I keep all this over the pot so that I don't drip on, drip anything out of the pot. But being that I'm by myself, I have to do it a little bit different. So I'll end up with some drips and mess because I can't hold the jars over the container hold everything else over the container at the same time by myself and so I have to do it the hard way well hello there Philip do you want to say hello to YouTube and let them see your cute beard no. oh come on Philip he's going to work, he's going to work. Wow. 
You sure you wouldn't come and say hi to YouTube? No. Just once? No. Oh, come on. You've never been camera shy before. He's being camera shy. Hey, well, can I have a hug bye if I turn the camera off? Just come get one. Okay, I'll come get one. Okay, guys, I'll bring you back. Okay. I gave Philip a big old hug. So, I got alcohol in my hands. And... That's me alcohol in my hands. And I need to pour up uh, the lotion that's in the bottom of the container into here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pour all my what's left in here. And immediately take my spatula and scrape down the edges. Okay, and so Okay, so we have got about two more jars worth, but this in here looks like it could use a little extra and this one here too. We figured this at four ounces. So I've overfilled that one. Oh, there go. Oh, I overfilled that one. Okay. I'll have to clean up my mess. Okay. So now, this little bit that's left over. I'm going to go put in my jar, and um, this here we're going to let cool, and try to, these bubbles pop, but we're going to go ahead and try to pop some of them. They just slowly sit and pop, but it does leave sort of a texture to the top, but that texture says, I'm homemade. Let's see about this one right here. I think it could use just a little bit more. Okay, all right. So let's uh, let this cool, and then we'll put the lids on. Oh, and I'll just get some off the counter there and move the camera back so it doesn't drip in my product. And you can see that this is the day cream and it just disappears into the skin. It's like zap, it's just gone. Um, it's light, you don't feel greasy, oily, it just disappears. And ta-da! Wonderful, wonderful day cream. Okay everybody, here's our lotion. As you can see, I've got a mess. You can see it's already firming on the top. The bubbles will slowly disappear. Um, um, this is the test jar for this batch. I showed that to you at the beginning of the video as well. Um, great stuff. See how as it cools, it gets thick. And this gets really, really thick. Uh, it makes a cream. Um, 
reduce the stearic acid if you want to do a thinner lotion or just don't put it in at all. Um, so here is our awesome lotion. Now I'm fixing to fill these jars up with uh, night cream and that's the batch I'm going to make next um, and everything. So thank you so much for watching and there's a little clip going at the end that will be next and I thoroughly appreciate you giving that a look-see. And then, bye, everybody.